Good evening, Guille. How are you today? Uh, great, uh, teacher. Uh, thank you. Uh, and you? What about you, teacher? I'm a little tired, but I'm okay. Thanks uh, for asking. Me too. I'm I'm tired um, a little. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Remember that this week we are going to finish until Friday. Oh, okay. good to hear that. Yeah. That is uh, because we are replacing Monday and Tuesday. I don't know if you remember that we began on Wednesday. So yes, we did uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So we need to replace the Tuesday. And yes, is, I, see, yes, I remember that we started uh, on Wednesday, uh, teacher. Okay, so Friday we replace Monday. And this Friday we will replace Tuesday, and then uh, Tuesday, go, right? Yeah, and then we go back to normal. It means that it is going to be a tough week, teacher. Yes. Well, actually, after tonight, you know, two more nights. Yes, of course. Uh, because my, uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow yes. is Thursday. And, uh, that is right. Thursday, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, um, teacher. Yes, understood. Okay, so understood, yes, teacher. Be a little patient, okay? Yes, uh, the idea is to 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 take advantage of of the class, teacher, so we can learn a little bit more. Okay, very good, very good. Good evening, Cindy. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Happy to have you here, Guadalupe. Good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Um, I'm okay. It was an easy day. I was in my house doing many things. Okay, very good. Uh, were you able to download the material? No, I couldn't. Okay, well. Okay, let's see how we do it tonight. Maybe taking pictures, okay, Guadalupe. Cindy, were you able to download the material? Yes, teacher. Both yes. books? Yes. Guille, were you able to download the material?
Hello, Guille. Y yes, uh, teacher. Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, I have my microphone microphone off. Off. I mean, uh, yes, I downloaded, but every time that I I try to see the material on my computer, it uh, it opens uh, through a through a, a keyboard. Uh, uh, no, uh, I don't have. I don't have uh, the PDF, ah. the PDF uh, file here um, on my computer. But every time that I click on uh, that document, it opens in, in for example, Safari, a browser with a browser, ah, okay. and I, I, I'm able to see the the document, but using a browser. But I can see that. Okay, very good, Eleonora. Yes, thank you. Okay, Eleonora, how are you tonight? Oh, hi, teacher. Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. Eleonora, did you have the chance to download the books? Uh, yes, teacher, I You I have them, have okay, download. very good. Yes, very yes. Good, yes. good yes, evening, teacher. Karen. How are you tonight? Good evening, I am fine, and you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Were you able to download the books, Karen? Yes. Okay, very good. And what about you? Yes, okay, very good, Karen. Good evening, Jordana. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. What okay. about you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Were you able to download the books? No, the thing is that I don't have a cell phone right now. So uh, as it was sent to the WhatsApp group, I don't have access. But it's okay. I, I feel pretty familiar with that book. Okay, so you and Guadalupe is going to have to take pictures of the activities that we are going to do. Okay, so, so we can do it in pairs. Okay, let's start. Okay, okay for tonight, uh, I want you to go to page 46 on the book. Page 46. Okay, can you see it on my book page? Actually, it's page 45. Page 45, do you have it? Can you see it on the screen? Page 45. Yes, I can see it. Okay, very good. So there is yes. a syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Okay. Page 45, exercise four. Okay, very good. So as you can see with these three first words, satellite, internet, and photograph, the stress is on the first syllable. Okay, repeat after me, satellite. 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 Everybody, satellite. repeat after me, satellite. 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 Internet. 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 Photograph. 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 Now with the second column, the stress is on the second syllable. Okay, repeat after me. <laughs> Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Computer. 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 Okay, very good. And in the third column, the uh, stress is on the last syllable. Repeat after me. CD-ROM. CD-ROM. Engineer. 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 Entertain. Entertain. Okay, very good. Now, where is the stress in these words? Add them to the columns in part A. No, you just mentioned to me. Are you ready? Yes. Please go. Okay. Listen and you tell me where is the stress. Part, part B. Where is the stress in these words? 
add them to the columns in part A. Then listen and check. Languages. Understand. Telephone. Transmission. Robotics. VCR. Okay, very good, guys. So, languages, where is the stress? Page 45. On the first language. On the first syllable. That is correct. That is on the first syllable. So, first. it goes to this column, languages. Now, when you say understand, where is the syllable? Where is the stress? The Think second syllable. And second the second syllable. syllable, right? Okay, very good. And when you say telephone, where is the, the where is the stress? The first syllable. No, telephone. Yeah. The, the, the last uh, on the last syllable. The last, no. the last okay. syllable. When I say transmission, where is the stress? The first. In the first syllable. The first. Very good. When you say robotics, where is the stress? The second. On the second syllable. Okay. Very good. And when you say VCR, where is the stress? The third one. In the third the one, second. okay. Very good. So repeat after me. Satellite. 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 Internet. 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 Photograph. 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 Languages. 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 Transmission. Transmission. Invention. 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 Assignment. Assignment. Computer. Computer. Understand. Understand. Robotics. Robotics. CD-ROM. CD-ROM. Engineer. Engineer. Entertain. Entertain. VCR. VCR. Telephone. So, telephone. Telephone. Okay, very good. Now, war power. The war of computers. So let's read the instructions. Complete the chart with words and phrases from the list. Add one more to each category, then compare with a partner. Okay. So People who are into computers, which of the, well, repeat after me, browse websites. Browse, browse websites. websites. Cut and paste. Cut, Cut and, and paste. paste. This drive. This drive. drive. Double click on. Double, Double click, click on. on. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Jig. Geek. Geek. Hacker. 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 Highlight text. Highlight, Highlight text. text. Keyboard. Keyboard. Monitor. 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 Mouse. 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 Play games. Play, Play games. games. Scan photograph. Scan, Scan photograph. photograph. Surf the net. Surf, Surf the net. net. Technofield. 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 Whiz. 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 Questions. What's, What's the meaning of whiz? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whiz is a person. Is a person that he is has very high level or very a high skills or knowledge in technology, especially claro. Claro. in computers. Okay, that is a whiz. A person okay. who has a very high level of, of, of technology, a skill, technology. very high level of skills, a very high level of knowledge of computers or technology. Mm -hmm. That's a whiz. Uh. What's okay. the meaning of jig? Okay, jig is a person that
that is a person that is fascinated but for technology and a computer technology. A person that is fascinated. Is that clear? A whiz yeah. is a person who has high skills, high knowledge of technology mm -hmm. or computers, okay? Okay. More questions? Questions, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, do you know what is a hacker, right? And a technophile? Mm, no. Someone who loves technophile. technology. Uh huh? <laughs> uh, I think that, like, it's como la filosofía. Uh, so, technophile, it's like someone who loves technology. Okay, uh, a person who is interested in technology and enjoys using it. A person who is interested in modern technology and enjoys using it, okay? Now, okay. very good. Let's see, what do we have to do here? Now, people who are into computers from this vocabulary, can you name some? Jig, hacker. Jig, okay, number one, jig. Very good, jig. 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 Okay, number one. Number two? Hacker. hacker. A hacker also is people who are into computers. Number two. Number three? Mm, technophile. Technophile is a person that is also into computers. Mm -hmm. And? With. 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 Okay, it's a With. person that is also into technology. Very With good. Hacker. Okay. Hello? Now, types of computer hardware, okay? Computer hardware is all this, all that is uh, the pieces of all the, comp no, the components of all the computer. So what do we have Mouse. here in this vocabulary? Mouse. This drive. This drive. This drive. The this drive is number one. Another one? Uh, keyboard. 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 Keyboard is number two. Mm -hmm. Another one? Monitor. Monitor, Monitor number three. Uh, Another one? Mouse. Mouse. The mouse. Scanner. Very good. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, fun things to do with a computer. So we already have browse oh, the website. 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 What else is fun to do with the computer? Play, play games. games. Play games. Play games. So you have number two. Mm -hmm. Another one? Scan photographs. Scan photographs. Scan photograph. photograph. And? Oh, no. Surf the net. Surf the net. Surf the net. Very Surf good. The and things to do the with the mouse. Okay, what are the things that you can do with the mouse? Uh -huh. Cut with and paste. Cut and paste. What else? Double click. Double click. Double click. Double click. What else? Drag, 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 and drop, and drop, 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 and drop, and highlight text. And highlight, highlight text. text. That is correct. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. questions? No questions. No questions? Okay, no very questions. good. So now, discuss okay. how computers have changed our lives. Ask and answer questions like this. Okay, everybody, repeat after me. How do computers make your life easier or more how difficult? How do computers, how do computers make, make your life, life easier, 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 easier or more difficult. difficult? Okay, now, can you tell me how do computers make your life easier? Yes. Uh -huh, tell yes. me, how? Easier. Uh, because... Uh, we can use the internet with the computer and we can work. Okay, we can work and it's easier than typing letters in a, in a typewriter machine, right? With okay. the computers, yes. if you type a letter and you make a mistake, you don't have to redo the whole letter. Is that clear? Right. Okay, yeah, very good. What else? makes our life easier. 
and to uh, and say an sing an uh, homework or books in the WhatsApp, for example. Okay, very good. So receive, send, and receive information, right? Yes. Send and receive information. Okay, what else? One more. How do computers make our life easier? Good and paid homework too. Okay, it's good to do and send homework. Okay, now, how do computers make our life more difficult? We need to have access to internet in order to use all the functions. Okay, yeah, and, you, and we have to pay internet service right. or internet yes, provider. Be... Okay, another yeah. one. How do computers make our life more difficult? Um, sometimes it's hard for um, adults to get familiar with them because they don't know how to use them. Uh huh. Okay. Is sometimes it's difficult to use the applications and the programs. Okay. Very good. Now, how do computers affect the way you spend your free time? How do computers affect the way you, you, you spend your free time? They can be a big distraction. It can be a big distraction, especially the internet, right? Okay. Yes. Very good. How do computers influence the kinds of jobs people have? Mm. The computer is are so necessary for the work for a lot of jobs. Actually, for example, the home office. Okay, the very good. The principal tool. Okay, very good. Another uh, way that computers influence the kinds of jobs people have now. For example, can you see me teaching online now? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yes, right? So yeah. that is another yeah. influence, okay? Which is a good influence. Now, what kinds of problems do computer cause? Let's mention two. What kind? Uh-huh. Side, side, side problem. Side, 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 side problem. Okay, side problems. That is correct. Okay, your eyes can become tired or uh, ill, okay? Yes, yeah. right. Okay, another another problem that the computers can cause. I don't Stress know. Can cause you headache. spend a lot of time with the computer and don't, don't uh, compare with your family, don't. Uh -huh, and not share. spend time with your family. Thanks and so forget so well. about your family. Yes. Okay, very much. Stressful. Very good. Very good. Do you know anyone who is a computer whiz? Me. You remember that a whiz no. is the person that has high skills, okay, or high knowledge of technology or computer uh, technology. Do you know anybody that is a whiz? Yes. yes for example, yes. the hackers. The hacker? the hacker have too much knowledge about the computer. Okay. And, uh, Who else? People, people near you. Do you know people near you? Probably your children or probably your brother or sister or your younger brother or sister or your nephew or your cousin. My uncle. My, your, yes. Your uncle. My uncle. Yes. Oh. He got graduated in, as computer engineering. Ah, okay. So, yeah, he probably is a whiz. Okay. Yes, well, as yes. a matter of fact, he should be a whiz. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Are hackers a problem where you live? No. Not I don't have an idea. Not really. Okay. They are not. No. Well, well, in some cases, people are hacking bank accounts. 
people are hacking your Facebook's account. And sometimes they hack even your WhatsApp uh, program, okay? Or yes. emails. Okay, now, listening offline and proud, okay? Now, offline and proud. So let's, let's listen to this first question. Guess the answer to these questions below. Then listen to a radio program about the internet and check your answers. Okay, question number one. What percentage of the population never uses the internet? Now, you guess. Can you tell me the percentage? 20%, 30%, 40%. So tell me. I want to hear uh, everybody tell, telling me what is your guess about the percentage of the population that never uses the internet? Maybe 5%. 40%. 40%? 40%. Maybe um, 5%. 5% more? Yes. Let me hear. Maybe 25%. Let me see. Okay, Alexandra, what is your percentage, Alexandra? Uh, maybe a 40%. 40%. Cindy? Turn on your microphone, Cindy. Uh, 20%. 20%. Karen? Um, twenty five percent. Twenty five percent, Eleonora. Five per five percent. Five percent, Maria Callejas. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty percent. Twenty percent, Irving. What percentage of the population doesn't use the internet? Mm, five percent. Five percent, Ivan. What's your I agree, guess? I agree with Alexandra, maybe 40%. 40%, okay. And Guadalupe? I think that 5%. 5%, now, very good. Now, I want you to listen, okay? I want you to, to listen. Hold on. Let me see, okay, here we go. Okay, what is the percentage? 40, 40, 40, 42%, 40, 42%, 42%. 42%. 42%. 42%. 42%. Of, of the people don't use the internet. Okay, very good. Now, uh, what was the other question? Uh, and what kinds of people don't use the internet? Now, let's see. What kinds of people don't use the internet? Tell me. Guess, you guess. Elderly. Elderly. Elderly, elderly people. people. Okay, very good. Uh-huh. More opinions? Who? Maybe in Africa. Maybe, okay, maybe in Africa, in rural areas. Yeah. Okay, well, rural yeah. area. Okay, very good. More uh, guess? Older people. Older people, very good. More guesses? Mm. What about people? Uh huh. What about people that are not interested? <laughs> okay, let's yeah. hear. Listen, let's continue listening. But 
there are also those who are worried about privacy or who think that the Internet isn't necessary in their life. Some of these people are even proud to be independent from the online world. Interesting. Okay, so was that clear? Yes. Uh, older right. people. Older people. Mm -hmm. People living in rural areas and privacy people, for privacy. People yeah, that want about privacy. privacy. People that don't want to be showing on the on the internet. Okay, so they don't use internet. Very good. Now let's listen to the second part. Here we go. Let me share with you. Now, letter B, it says right here, eh, listen to the rest of the program, then answer this question. What does the term net evaders mean? What are internet dropouts? Why do some people become internet dropouts? Is that clear? So go ahead and try to listen to answer these questions. Here we go. Page 46, exercise six, part B. Listen to the rest of the program, then answer these questions. In your new book, you mentioned net evaders. Can you explain what you mean by this? Well, lots of people live with someone who surfs the net, but they still don't log on themselves. I call this group the net evaders. What I found in talking to these people is that they sometimes ask a family member to send emails for them or to browse websites, but they don't want to do it themselves. <laughs> I know someone like that. <laughs> yes, and then there's another group of people I call internet dropouts. Internet dropouts? What exactly does it mean? It refers to people who once used the internet, but have stopped using it for some reason. They may not have a computer anymore, may not have enough time, or simply may not be interested. I see. Well, thanks very much for sharing that information with us, Dr. Van Cleef. Okay, guys. So, what mm -hmm. does the term net evaders mean? Um, someone who tried to evade it uh, to send emails and and chose and cho choose the other people to do that for for that person okay excellent very good okay so those are people who tell all the people to log in for them and do the things for them but they don't log in okay they want to be out of the internet okay very good now the next question is what are internet dropouts it's i have the i have the answer i don't know if i can okay, share go ahead Gia. as someone who has started to use the computer uh, in the beginning and then they decided to not to use the computer anymore okay and now, can you tell me what are the reasons that they don't want to uh, use the internet or the computer anymore? Somebody else? Because um, they don't have computer anymore or because they are not interested. Okay, they don't have a computer anymore, or they are not interested. And one more, what was the other one? Ah, or because they don't have time. Okay, because they don't have time anymore. Okay, very good. Let me share with you the book again. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, now look at this conversation, please. Can I borrow your phone? Can you see it? Yes. Yes? Okay, take a picture, please. I want you to take a picture. If you don't have the book, take a picture, please. Because you are going to role play this conversation, okay? So take a picture. Okay. And if you can send it to the group, okay, the ones that are able to send it to the group, send it, please. 
Got it? Did you yeah. take a picture? Okay, very yes. good. Now, listen yes. to this conversation, please. Listen to this conversation. Page 47. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I borrow your phone? Part A. Listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do we need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay. I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Questions? Page 47. Exercise 7. No questions. Everybody, do you have any questions about the conversation? No. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Okay. I want your microphones turned on, please. We are going to repeat this conversation. Okay. Repeat after me. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Can, Can I, I borrow, borrow your phone, phone to, to call, my call my boss? To call my boss. I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. I can't, can't believe you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? And thanks. No. What do I need, I need to, do. to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Area code. Area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You're right. It's a recording. You're right. You're right. It's right. recording. recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you'll leave your conversation on his voicemail. Make sure to hit, to hit the end, end button or else you'll leave, leave your conversation, conversation on his voicemail. Okay, let's repeat this conversation again. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Can I borrow, Can I borrow, borrow your phone to call, call my boss? boss? My boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. I, I, I can't, can't believe you have a cell phone. phone. Here you go. go. Here you go. Now, what do I need to do? Thanks. 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 Now, what do, I what do I need to do? do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Call button. Call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Oh, oh good, it's ringing. It's ringing. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Try, Try not, not to get, get too excited. excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You're right, it's a recording. 
You're right. 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 It's it's recording. Recording. It's recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Make, Make sure, sure to hit the end button or else you leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, does everybody have this? Okay, take a picture of the conversation because I'm going to break you into pairs so you can practice, so you can role play the conversation. So if okay. you couldn't download the book, take a picture of the conversation, please. Okay. Take a picture. Do you have it? Yes. 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 Everybody? Yes. Ready? Yes. Everybody yes. is ready to role play the conversation? Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. Okay, Alexandra? Yes. Cindy? Cindy, Cindy, turn on your yes. microphone. Are you ready? Got it. Yes, sir. Okay, Karen? Turn on your microphone, yes. Karen. Are you ready? Yes. Dinamica, are you ready? Turn on your microphone, Dinamica. Maria Callejas, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Irving, are you ready? Yes, sir. Eleonora, are you ready? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, yes. Guadalupe and Guille, are you ready? Yes, yes I am. Guadalupe? Turn on your microphone, Guadalupe. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, nine, 12. So we're gonna make six pairs. Here we go. So you can okay. role play that conversation. Go ahead. Uh, Eleonora and Guille go to room number one. Dinamica and Maria Callejas go to room number two. Cindy and Irving go to room number three. Jordana and Karen go to room number four. Alexandra Rodriguez and Ivan Herrera go to number five. And Guadalupe and Maria Ernestina go to room number six. Okay, Jordana, go to room number four. Karen, go to room, okay. Uh, Maria Ernestina, go to room number six, please. Okay. Cindy, go to room number three. Cindy, please. Can you hear me, Cindy? Turn on your microphone. Okay, very good. Okay, let me see how we're doing. Button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. Excited. No excited. excited. Try not to Sorry. get too excited. 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 You'll probably uh, get get his voicemail. You're right. It's recording. Make sure to hide them and a uh, button or else. You'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Did you switch roles? Okay. Uh, okay. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Okay, oh. 
Good. You have Extreme. impressed. You have Try. impressed. Pronunciation. You have pressed. impressed. With T. Pressed. Pressed. Uh huh. The cold bottom. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get to excited. You, you'll probably get his voice mail. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button uh, or else you lead our conversation on his voicemail. Right. Okay. Now, do you switch roles? Yes, we did okay. already. Very good. Okay. 